Hi folks, nice from RootGalaxyNote.com for this week's round of the week for the AT&T Galaxy Note SGHI 717 or if you have the Canadian SGHI 717R, uh, do check out Liquid Smooth ROM. Um, also, you can go ahead and install the patch. Um, in the patch, um, it will ask you to install Uber Kernel, uh, which I did, and uh, you'll be able to overclock your phone uh, with Uber Kernel. Uh, up to 1.89 gigahertz, uh, which makes it super zippy. Um, it is actually pretty zippy without uh, the kernel, but if you do want to overclock, I do recommend getting the Trickster Mod app on the Play Store. Um, go ahead and hit General here, and you can set the maximum to uh, 1.89 gigahertz. Uh, also, Governor, I do recommend Wheatley, and make sure you hit that button. That will apply the settings. Um, also, hit that button and set kernel settings on. That way, when you reboot, it will keep those settings. Uh, but very fast ROM, and I uh, really like this combo. Um, gonna make your phone super fast. Uh, let's go into settings and show you some of the stuff you can do. Um, go into interface here. Um, you can go ahead and change uh, the density on your phone for those of you who wanna do that. Uh, and let's go into customizations. Now, if you know how to customize your phone, you can probably skip all of this. Uh, go ahead and try the ROM. Uh, I think you will definitely like it. Uh, in the power menu options, um, you can go ahead and add a screenshot. There is no screen recording on this ROM. Pi controls uh, if you want to, uh, but this is definitely um, necessary, I think, um, all, on all custom ROMs. Recent panel, here you'll be able to find, uh, you'll be able to customize your recent panel, um, change your clear all position Right now, I believe it's in bottom left. Um, that's probably good for left-handers. So go ahead and ch set that to uh, bottom right. Then you can go ahead and kill all apps a lot easier with one hand. Um, re oh, we went there. I'll go into Shake Events. Um, this is sort of fun. Um, you can go ahead and launch your favorite apps. Uh, what I like to do is actually launch the torch, uh, but I don't see it here. So you may have to um, grab the torch app to do it. Uh, but you can go ahead and activate this and activate any apps you want. Uh, let's just go ahead and try it. Uh, here we go. Let's launch the camera. No, actually not. Let's actually launch the uh, the browser. Um, so let me go ahead and shake it. And now I've got my browser. Now don't use it um, if you're going to use your phone as GPS in your car so, because sometimes it can um, activate it. And also you could probably add quick settings. Um, so you can turn it off easily also when you're in the car. Uh, let's go into some of the other options, lock screen here. Um, you can go ahead and customize your physical buttons here for short press, long press, um, and more stuff. Oh, sorry, just long press. Um, you can do a long press customization. Also interface, um, you can go ahead and enable eight slider targets and this is for your lock screen. So go ahead and set these to your favorite apps, uh, browser, camera, all that good stuff. And you should have um, the new things on there. There we go. So you can go easily to your browser uh, or any other apps. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the slider torch. Um, if you do have, go ahead and long press uh, the circle there. Uh, it will turn the torch on and it will turn off when you let it go. Um, so very nice stuff. Um, let's look at some other stuff you can do with navigation. Uh, app circle bar, this is one of my favorites. And let's see if it actually works. There we go. This one actually has trigger width. Um, so you can change the trigger height and the position. So I only want to launch when I hit the top right hand uh, of my phone there. And you can go ahead and add your favorite apps there. Uh, pretty simple stuff. Go ahead and hit the edge, your phone. Nope, oh, it's not working that well. Oh, there we go. You may have to get the hang of it. There we go. You just gotta hit the where you set the width. Um, it depends on the phone. Some phones work really well, some phones don't. Uh, you may have to change the width, make it bigger, um, so it's a lot easier. There you go. That's a little bit better. But uh, it's one of my favorite stuff because uh, I really like it. And you can go ahead and launch your favorite apps. Um, sort of like Pi, uh, very nice stuff. All right, here we go. Um, that was App Circle Bar. And also you can go ahead and so uh, enable your soft buttons there. 
Um, if your but hardware buttons ever break, this is a great way. Or you know, they they don't they just don't work well anymore. Sometimes that happens. Um, you can go ahead and enable that. Another option is Pi controls. Go into trigger options, um, and you can go ahead and enable this. If you swipe in from the right uh, pretty quickly there, you'll be able to enable the Pi controls, and you can also customize all of these buttons uh, to your favorite shortcuts. So very nice stuff. This also works well uh, if your hardware buttons are broke, which I actually did recently. Um, so you know, definitely keep that in mind um, just in case uh, something happens to your phone. Uh, active display driving mode, halo options, um, heads up settings, hover settings, lock screen notification. This is one of my favorites. It is enabled out of the box. Um, so you'll get lock screen notifications and you can go straight to whatever notification it came up. Uh, let me see what else is there. Uh, that's pretty much it, but as you can see, there's a ton of stuff you can do. Also, I do recommend setting total blackout. Um, that will save you slight, slight battery life because the AMOLED screen on the Galaxy Note um, saves battery life when you have more blacks. As you know, there's nothing going, the, it's completely off versus um, regular LCD. You actually have uh, still backlit uh, power going there. Uh, overall, pretty cool stuff. Um, very fast. You'll notice this ROM is much faster than uh, many of the other ROMs out there. And I really like it. So definitely check it out. And uh, no lag whatsoever. Um, so definitely a great way to revitalize your phone. And don't forget to check out um, some of my latest LG G3 reviews over at highonandroid.com. Uh, but yeah, definitely check it out for this week's Rumble Week. And do let me know what you think. And I will see you guys soon. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at uh, rootgalaxynote.com. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.